Thanks, KP. Where do I start? That's just memories. Um, my first memory of it um, is 1981. I was 11 years old and watching Ian Botham absolutely um, play against Australia. Some top Australian players, by the way. Um, just from that moment on, I wanted to play in an Ashes Test match. If it was only going to be one test, it had to be against Australia, in Australia. Well, I got my dream in uh, 1994. It was my first test um, uh, to go to Australia. Um, and I just could not believe when I stepped off the aeroplane and walked out at the airport and all those people. I've never seen as much media interest in a cricket game in my life. In England, yes, we have a huge following. Uh, but it tends to be quiet on the media front because it's all football. But went to Australia and I just could not believe there was hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of phot photographers, newspaper, front page every day is cricket stories. And for that, I just thought, well, oh, dear me, this is um, totally different to what I was used to. Um, but we went on that series. It was my um, uh, dream to play against them. It was happening in Brisbane. My son was born on the first morning. Uh, which gave me a huge, huge lift. And I went into that game saying uh, to the media before that first day, for every wicket I get on this first morning, I'm going to call my son those names who was born. Now, it caused a bit of a problem because I got five wickets in the game. Um, didn't get five wickets in the innings, but I got five in the game. So it would have been a strange name, wouldn't it, to call him Michael, Michael, Steve, Shane, Ian, um, Goff. So we ended up going uh, for Liam James Goff. He was born on the 24th of November 1994, which is the same day as Ian Botham. So I named him after Botham's first son, and he's called Liam James, obviously Botham. So there's my Ashes tale. Um, managed to play against Australia, just finished with this, in four Ashes series, and never got close to beating them uh, in a series. We won the odd game, of course, won at Edgbaston, one at Melbourne, um, that's about it. I think of the games I played in, they were that good. Some great, great players, uh, some great characters. Uh, people like Justin Langer, had good battles with him. Michael Slater, way ahead of his time, what a player he was. Stephen Mark War, Ian Ealy, followed by Gilchrist. You've got Ricky Ponting, one of the greatest ever. Uh, Shane Warne, Glenn McGrath, Jason Gillespie, Brett Lee, uh, Damian Martin. I could go on and on and on. There's so many great Australian cricketers I was lucky enough to be on the same field as. Um, always old phone memories, but nothing beats that England cap. There's my three up there, and there is my debut cap. Can't beat it. That's my Ashes tail. Um, I nominate Damien Martin.